Yeah, man, I'm here to have Bubba Royal to represent him for Black United Nation TV. We hear the money where it's last year, young Marcus Garvey. You know what I'm here to say? So, I'm here to say, Chant a summer day, whether it's rough or calm a day. Seven summer chant three times a day. So, I keep the wicked evil force away. No, I got to chant a summer day. Whether it's rough or calm a day. Set the song a chant three times a day. Aye. Some may keep the wicked evil force away. Black United Nation TV. Yes, I. Blessed love, my Lord and Empress, Prince and Princess. Yes, I. Yes, the topic we're going to talk about in this video. 15,000 people murdered in Jamaica since 2016. Yeah, 15,000 people, 99% pro, of these people are Ethiopian, African children who came in Jamaica through slavery and the slave trade, you know? So we see, say, the black African sons and daughters have been still, you know, slaughtered, you know, across the world, you know. We see say slavery is not yet abolished, although them tell us that from 1834, slavery is abolished, you know. So we see say slavery still continue. Yeah, we see say slavery still continue, you know. 15,000 people murdered in Jamaica, 15,000 people murdered in Jamaica from 2016. And we know the root cause of the problem, of the crime problem in Jamaica, the root cause is slavery. Some of you may not agree, but the root cause of the problem of the crime problem in Jamaica is slavery because from 1834 when them said the shekel came off of the black man and the black woman feet the black woman and the black man never get no recompensation it's only the Chinese men, the Indian, the Syrian and the white men get something we as Ethiopian sons and daughters who they now call Jamaican through slavery and the slave trade who now hold a Jamaican passport, never get anything. So, we see, say, them come with bogus independent in 1962 and tell we that, you know, we are independent. How can you independent in our next man house? Because Jamaica was not the black man land, it's the Arawak Indian land, but through prophecy and history. The black man land is Ethiopia, Africa. So you cannot tell me that you are independent and live in our next man house. You have to live in your own house before you can independent. Holy Manuel is Lassiai Ja Rastafari. So we see that from independent, they come with two political party, which is the JLP and the PMP, which continue to carry out the works of the slave master up until today. One of them more so the Jamaican Labour Party work with the CIA to mash up Jamaica. Even today they are still working with the CIA. Remember, the CIA mash up the entire world. The CIA is the cause of the crime problem facing the entire world. The CIA create ISIS through the American and the European government, England and France and Canada and all evil supporters. So we see, say, these people only love to see when blood shed, you know? So we see, say, as we were saying, the JLP work with the CIA to destabilize Jamaica and also the PMP working with the CIA because one at a time, it did look like the PMP now work with the CIA, but eventually they must give in and start work with the CIA. 
so we see say the GLP policy and the PMP policy become the same, you know, only some are slight different, you know, because the two leader praise Jesus. Mark Golin praise Jesus. Andrew Olness praise Jesus. And Jesus is the biggest sham the world has ever given up until today. So we see that the world is living in a lie, you know. Yes, because from 1962, when them said Jamaica gained independent, the African people continue, continued to live in suffering, you know. We see that the European, the Chinese, the Indian, they continue to live in, you know, luxury, you know. So we see that there is no justice, you know. So that is why so many people is being murdered in Jamaica, you know, as them say 15,000 people murdered in Jamaica from 2016 up until 2024, present time. So then we see that these government don't have any authority to speak about crime and your oldness don't have the authority to speak about crime nor the commission of police because they support america and england which is the biggest crime producer they are calling the little black ghetto youth in the community crime producer and they are not calling america and england which is the biggest crime producer crime producer American, England, and the European Union, Canada, France, New Zealand, and all these countries, they are the biggest crime producers. Look what they are doing now in the Gaza Strip to the Palestine, you know. We don't condone any war. We don't condone Amos killing the so-called Israelis. The white boy them and we don't condone the so-called Israelis. So we see say most of these murdered, most of these murders were, were commit in Jamaica. Is orchestrated by the Jamaican police. Not for the people them where get killed or the police them kill them. And I say the youth them kill them. And I say a gunmen kill them car. Everyone is gunmen, you know. Both the men where walk with gun and the police, the two of them are gunmen, but the mongo call the youth them in the ghetto gunmen. Them now call the police them gunmen, but the police them are gunmen too. So most some of these murder is the police force and the soldier them in a Jamaica killing these people too. And blaming the youth them in the ghetto. We see that. Andrew Olness and Mark Golin get together and sign the anti-crime legislation. The anti-crime gang legislation where them say them get rid of black man and a portion of gang the other day. That only affect the black community. That don't affect the Chinese nor the Indian nor the white men. So it's only black man them a fight against when them come with the anti-gang legislation. It don't affect those who is in parliament. It does. It don't affect the police force nor the Jamaica Defense Force. So we see that they are still working with the CIA to kill off as many Africans they can kill. The African people who live in Jamaica who they now call Jamaican through slavery and the slave trade. Just the other day, they introduced the new road traffic act, which is a criminal act against the African people living in Jamaica who they now call Jamaican. The road traffic act fines up to $40,000 and all these money if you don't have license, if you don't have insurance. Them tell us you have to have car seat and all these things. It's a criminal act. The needs where them want to bring out from the people is a criminal act. The needs where them want to change your identification. Because them don't change your identification from Africa already. 
and give with them European name. And now them want come control with them AI system, artificial artificial intelligence. And that them want control with you know. That's why them come with this needs, you know. So we see say a corruption, a buffer as priest Imani Imani would say, is a buffer government, you know. Buffer LGBT faggot government, you know, in Jamaica. LGBT is in the PMP and also in the PM and also in the JLP. So none of them cannot stand up for God, you know. None of them can start talk for the man of R. The PMP in R the JLP cannot speak for the man of R. Them only can speak for the X world, you know. And the X world is the evil white world. European, you know, feeling society, which can only lead, you know, to this. Yes, my Lord and Empress. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. The evil white world system is not going anywhere, you know. So, that is why so many murder, mur that is why so many people get murdered in Jamaica from 2016 until now and more than that i get killed you know i'm going to show them not tell with the real numbers but more than that more people than where them are give i get killed you know so we see say the evil white world don't mean us any good you know so andrew wellness and mark golin if them want have the authority to speak about crime, them first have to speak to the president of the United States and the boy up in England with him, King Charles and all these people, you know, before them, you know, because these people are the main violence producer. The CIA, the American government, the European Union, Canada, Britain, France, New Zealand, these people are destabilizing the whole world, you know. If it was not for these people, peace and love and equality, equal rights and justice would uh, be, you know, a statement of the day, you know. But now it's war you know, and bloodshed, you know. That is what these people delight in, you know. So Andrew Olness don't have the power to talk about crime when he is hugging up the biggest crime producer. Yes, I. So we see the other day, the Prime Minister Andrew Olness locked down the whole country when the evil white world come with them COVID, you know, and the opposition leader did not have the guts to stand up for the people. At one time, Mark Golin was calling for the airport to be shut, you know. But Andrew never shut the airport. Most of the, I, if every, every island in the Caribbean airport was shut during the pandemic, only Jamaica alone, and maybe one and two other airport never shut. So we see that these people are ever carrying out the work of the CIA and the evil white world, you know? And evil can only prevail when good people sit back and say nothing, you know? So we know that these people don't have the right, you know, to stop crime. Crime can only stop in Jamaica when the black man get him recompensation for slavery and the slave trade and across the Caribbean. Because in Jamaica, because in Jamaica and Trinidad have one of the two highest crime rate in the Caribbean. So the crime rate, the crime rate or the crime can only stop when the black man get in Freedom Redemption International repatriation, repum, recompensation, rep, reparation for what the evil white world has done to us. The evil white world cannot stop the crime. Because they are the main violence producers. Not the little man in the ghetto where have a little one pie pie. Him just a 
him just not know himself and get caught up in the evil white world ways. But if he didn't know himself, he would have known, say, Marcus Garvey said, lock the gun them for the, the time of redemption I got come, you know? And him tell the police them, say, King Emmanuel tell the police them, say, give back the government the uniform, but don't give them back the gun, gun you know? Because the time I got come when you have to go fight for black man redemption. So all of the youth, them we a fight and a kill off them one another in the ghetto. Them for remember, say all of them shot they needed for fight for the black man redemption. Because the white man is not going to give up this so easy. Just like how when a government in power is not going to give up to the opposition leader so easy. The white man is not going to give up this to the black man so easy. We have to go fight for it, you know. Spiritually, temporally, morally, and physically. Believe it or not, like it or not, you know. So anywhere the black man is, he must go fight for him survival. The black man in America, I forgot to fight the white men them for them survival. The black man in Jamaica, I forgot to fight out the 21 family for our survival. Because all of the 21 family, none of them are black men, you know. Chinese men, Indian men, white men, all of these people, you know, gain, you know, and benefit, you know, from slavery and the slave trade. So the only way, the only way the crime can stop in Jamaica, yes, I, so the only way the crime can stop in Jamaica and the entire world and also in Africa is when the black man sit at the conference table, you know. Only the black man can split justice. The Indian man cannot do it. If they can, they would all do it already. The Chinese men can't do it. The white men him worse. Him are the worst violence producer in the entire world. So, we call upon the black man and the black woman to look in yourself and stop fight against ourselves and live in love, you know. Hope these few words reaches you in the best of health, Black United Nation TV.